These are the vials with their corresponding supplements. Some supplements require rehydration. Please refer to kit inserts for rehydration instructions and amount to vial. Remove the S2, SA, and PD109 vials and secondary enrichment broths, RBS and McConkie broth, from the refrigerator and allow to come to room temperature, about 30 minutes. Place necessary vials, S2, SA, PD109, CC109, and S2, EBA, C9, into vial rack and supplement the vials as necessary. For S2, SA, transfer 0.1 milliliters of S2, SAS supplement. For PD109, transfer 0.1 milliliters of S2, PSI supplement. For S2, SAL, transfer 0.1 milliliters of S2, SALI supplement. For S2EC, transfer 0.12 milliliters of S2ECM supplement. After the supplement is added, cap and invert the vial three times. Remove the overnight 1 to 10 dilution sample vessel from the incubator. If testing for Salmonella or E. coli, transfer 0.1 milliliters from the overnight 1 to 10 dilution sample vessel to the respective secondary enrichment broth. Sample by transferring to test tubes. Please refer to your validation report to determine the appropriate secondary enrichment protocol or contact Neogen Technical Services with any questions. Mix well and place secondary enrichment into a 35 centigrade incubator. Incubate RVS for 6 to 8 hours and McConkie broth for 18 to 24 hours. For S2SA, PD-109, CC-109, and S2EBAC-9 transfer 0.1 milliliters from the overnight 1 to 10 dilution sample vessel to the respective vials. Only inoculate vials necessary for your testing purposes. Gently invert vials three times and place back into vial rack. For Salmonella, remove S2, SAL vials from the refrigerator and allow to come to room temperature, about 30 minutes. Place vials being tested into the vial rack and supplement as necessary. Remove the RVS secondary enrichment from the incubator and mix well. Transfer 0.1 milliliters to the S2SAL vial and gently invert the vial three times and place back into the vial rack. The following steps for E. coli involving McConkie broth are optional. Place S2EC vials into the vial rack and supplement as necessary. Remove the McConkie broth from the incubator and mix well. Transfer 0.1 milliliters to the S2EC vial and gently invert the vial three times and place back into the vial rack. For instructions on how to load samples into the system, see part four. Dispose of all materials as biohazardous waste in accordance with all federal, state, and local regulations. Please contact Neogen Technical Services with any questions.